I think that one of the things I worry desperately about is when I see adults out there all congregated together and I see them with their younger children, that's good. They're, they, they will one day be the cases that we'll be very concerned about. So I get that part of it. But I think at the same time, we do have to have a plan to get back. So we're all on the same page. I want back. You want back. Everybody but wants hold back. On, but hold on, sir. I also, yeah. It's, so, yep. But, doctor, it's easy to say, well, they're out there and they're going to get themselves sick. It won't just be them. It will be their children. It will be the health care workers. It'll be the health care workers' children and the grocery store employees. So it's not just those people protesting that are at risk of getting sick. They could get other people sick. I couldn't agree with you more. But we've been saying that from the get-go. One of the things that I've been very concerned about when people get sick, the people that I worry desperately about are the health care workers who don't have adequate protection trying to take care of the sick. They are really the frontline heroes. So you're absolutely right. But merely just saying that we have to test or that we have to do something doesn't provide the answer when we don't have testing that works. We don't have a plan. I would ask you, you're an economist, how do we take and feather that pedal so that basically we speed up when we need to suppress transmission, we let up and we don't. We need to have that conversation. It can't be this A plus B plus miracle stuff that I keep hearing everybody say. I mean, the talk shows are complete with people getting on saying test, test, test. Well, that's great. We don't have testing. And what we do testing, we have. Some of it doesn't work. So I think your point's a good one. Everybody is at risk when somebody is infected. So what do we do about it? Well, we can't shut down. I think you would agree with that. I surely believe that. We can't just let it go willy-nilly. As I've said all along, we need a plan that threads the rope through the needle. How do we let workforces back into uh, doing what they're doing and at the same time be prepared when we start to see the virus rise so we don't repeat New York's, we don't repeat Atlanta's, we don't repeat Detroit's. We've got to do that and we don't have a plan. Help us get a plan. That's what we need right now. Right on. Doctor, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Up next, one restaurant thank company you. that got 10 million bucks in economic relief is now giving it back. While some businesses are approaching the PPP program as an earnings optimization strategy, and all of this is legal. So how do we fix that? One of President Trump's former top, top economic advisors, former president of Goldman Sachs, Gary Cohn, is here on that very topic next.